Hey there folks, my name is Dan Goodman and I want to welcome you to Stormwind Studios succinct held online remote training sessions or as we like to affectionately call them shorts. This is the 11th short in the Wireless LAN Essentials series of shorts where we're going to focus on Cisco network services. So what does that mean? What does Cisco actually provide to us in terms of network services on the wireless LAN? Well, this is what we're going to talk about. Cisco Prime Infrastructure, the Identity Services Engine Integration, and the Mobility Services Engine. Some of these we've kind of danced around a little bit in earlier shorts, but now we actually want to dance with them as opposed to dancing around them, if you will. Beginning with Cisco Prime Infrastructure, the Cisco Unified Access that I've mentioned in earlier shorts is all about oneness, if you will. You don't look at it and say, well, I've got the wireless network over here and the wired network over there. It's just the network. It isn't the management interface on a controller and a console port on a router. It's just the management. It isn't the, you get the idea. Onenessness, as I mentioned. Unified access enables us to have one network, one policy, and one management. I know that sounds like a political campaign slogan, so what does that actually mean? One network means we have a single infrastructure that converges both wired and wireless capabilities. One policy means that we have a single policy providing identity management, posture assessment, and data collection. One management means we have central configuration, management, and monitoring of all network devices. It's not I have to go over here for that and go over there for this. I can do it all from one location. So what does that mean from Cisco Prime Infrastructure besides this infomercial I've talked about here for the last 30 seconds or so? This is essentially what it means. Cisco Prime Infrastructure provides the one management portion of what I just discussed. It converges the management of wired and wireless access, branch, and wide area networks. It has comprehensive network lifecycle management. It gives you end-to-end -end application and service assurance visibility. It's deployable as either a physical appliance or a virtual appliance. That's really all we need to cover in this particular course about uh, Cisco Prime Infrastructure. Obviously, it goes beyond that, but for the purpose of this course, you can at least say, hey, Dan did tell me what it is. Onenessness, right? That leads us into the Cisco Identity Services Engine. ISE is a central platform for network access policies. So if Prime Infrastructure gives us the one management, ICE gives us the one policy. It's applicable to wired and wireless networks as well as VPNs. It also gathers information and statistics that are viewable via prime infrastructure, so the two talk to each other. Key features are real-time visibility and control over users and devices, compliance from consistent policy creation and enforcement, efficiency from streamlined automation and service delivery, and enablement to support new initiatives with policy enabled services. Similar to prime infrastructure, this is deployable as either a physical appliance or a virtual one. The next one to discuss is going to be the MSE, otherwise known as the Mobility Services Engine. This is also a physical or virtual platform that is used to run various network services. Now it does primarily focus on location-based and user experience services. One particular suite of services is called the Connected Mobile Experiences or CMX. This gives us analytics providing better client visibility and their characteristics while they're connected to our networks. Now businesses can leverage the MSE in a variety of ways. Facebook Wi-Fi, for example, immediately connects clients to the company's page, allowing them to check in. And of course, Facebook can sell the data to the Russians from there. But that's neither here nor there. 
For retail environments, this gives us the ability to engage with customers by providing wayfinding services. So as soon as they walk into our store or our retail location, we can kind of say, hey, this is where you need to go for this. This is where you need to go for that. We can also leverage context sensitive campaigns and identify high value shoppers. With healthcare, we can use the MSE for wayfinding and mobile location for both patients and visitors. We can also do equipment tracking for connected mobile devices, or I'm sorry, medical devices, which I guess would include mobile devices in the right scenario. Uh, transportation, we can understand the aggregate traveler trends and captivate passengers with both wayfinding and augmented reality applications. Because reality stinks, we need the augmented version nowadays. Finally, with hospitality, we can leverage location-based visitor services with guest insight with both location and social analytics. As I mentioned, we kept this one relatively short and sweet. At the very least, you can say that we introduced them to you all. Thanks for taking the time here to watch our short on wireless LAN essentials. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you are notified of new shorts shortly after they become available. Shorts. Take care.